happening on the lacrosse field at Broadneck High School. Both their boys and girls teams are among the best in the state. Both are also favorites to win the state titles. WBR2 News' Sean Stepner has more with the Bruins in Annapolis. The quest for a three-peat begins tonight for the Broadneck girls lacrosse team. This year it's more of a, it's more of a challenge because we want the third one. The back-to-back 4A -back state champion Bruins host Annapolis in the regional semifinals at 7. These girls know another four wins and they will go down as one of the best high school lacrosse dynasties in state history. I think it'd be making a statement, just putting everything together and leaving on a strong note would be cool and special. All side left. I think that's important. I definitely do. I think they've already left a mark. They've definitely set a standard and a legacy. Um, I think that would kind of cap off their, their career for the seniors. Number three will be the toughest yet. We can't underestimate anyone because they're giving it all they have against us just based on our past performances and our state championships. Um, they're going to work that much harder, so we have to do the same. Meanwhile, the Bruins boys want to be exactly where the girls have been over the past couple of years, and they are motivated to get there after putting together one of the best regular seasons out of any team in Maryland. We're playing really good lacrosse right now and uh, guys, guys just keep getting better and better, so this is where we want to be. But where they are isn't bad. An undefeated 15-0 and coming off their first Anne Arundel County Championship since 2001. They want more. We're aiming for something higher than county champ. They're aiming to be state champ. The Bruins almost got it done last year, making it to the state title game, their first since winning it all in 1997. 26 years later, all of their goals are still in front of them. This is exactly where we want to be right now and exactly how we want to play. Being in the state championship last year was definitely fuel for the fire, but um, we don't want to just get there, you know, we want to win the state championship. I think it's just something that everyone just dreams of, you know, having as a young kid, just going undefeated and being the last team standing. They can start to make it a reality when they host Annapolis in the region semi tonight as well. That game just underway. In Annapolis, Sean Stepner. WMAR2 News.